Okay, so let's move on with what we were discussing last time. Let's do a quick recap. So binary number systems, we have discussed this, how we can represent numbers in binary by a subscript to or bin. And this is another way of representing a binary number with the, I mean, per, uh, prefix zero B or simply B, okay? So always remember the magnitude pattern, the increasing power of two from right to left. It will help you easily convert number from binary to decimal or any other uh, system. We have also discussed hex representation. Again, we can represent a hex number with a subscript 16 or hex or the third way of writing a number 0x or simply xb3. Okay, that will also represent a number in hexadecimal. So each hex digit is represented in four binary bits. Each octal digit is represented in three binary bits. So we human understand decimal representation. And we have also discussed that the computer or machine, it understands binary representation. And hexadecimal and octals are just alternative way of representing binary bits. So computer only understands binary. And hexadecimal and octal are just representing it uh, differently. Then we talked about complement or sign negation of a number. And when we were discussing complement, we were actually discussing how to represent a number, uh, how to change its sign. If the number is positive, we can complement it to make it negative. Or if a number is negative, we can take its complement to make uh, to make it positive. Okay. So to calculate the ninth complement of a number, the summary is that you all, uh, all you need to do is to subtract all decimal digits from nine, okay? To calculate the ones complement number, we can say that either subtract all digits from one or simply flip all the bits, okay? For the tens complement, how do we calculate tens complement? Ninth complement plus one, or we can say least, leave all the least significant digits, uh, sorry, zeros unchanged. Subtract the first non-zero least significant digit. Means a non-zero digit, first non-zero digit from the right, we'll subtract it from 10, and subtract the remaining digits from nine. So for example, 10th complement of this number, zero, one, two, three, nine, eight, so eight being the first least significant digit from right, it has to be subtracted from 10, and all other digits must be subtracted from nine, okay? Or as said, you calculate the ninth complement, subtract every digit from nine, and add one to it, okay? Similarly, to calculate two's complement, we leave all the least significant zeros unchanged, or least significant bits unchanged until you encounter the first non-zero digit, or first one, okay? Or subtract the first non-zero least significant bit from two and the remaining bits from one. So there are multiple ways of saying the same thing. We can calculate two's complement by leaving all the least significant bits until you encounter the first one unchanged. As you can see, all the least significant digits until this one are unchanged and subtract, oh sorry, and invert all the remaining bits. Or you can say that subtract the first non-zero digit, least significant digit from two and subtract all of the digits from one. Okay, so easiest way is to remember that you leave all the bits unchanged until you encounter first one and flip all of the bits or invert all of the bits, okay? To calculate two's complement. Any question here? We also discussed how we can represent negative numbers, okay? We have talked about how numbers are represented, binary, hex, octal. We have talked about how to convert a number from positive to negative with the help of complements. How do we represent? We also discussed the convention of representing a positive number and negative number. So when the leftmost bit is zero, it represents a number, a positive number. When the leftmost bit is one, 
it represents a negative number. Okay? Now it does not matter how many bits we are using to represent. If it is specified the number is four bit, then the leftmost bit would represent its sign. If the number is specified to be represented in eight bits, then the leftmost means the eighth bit will represent its sign. The theory three ways we discuss to represent negative number sign magnitude, sign one's complement, and sign two's complement. We discussed this example, plus nine and minus nine. So since the number is positive, it is generally represented the same in all three representations, sign magnitude, sign one's complement, sign two's complement method. Now if we, if we were to represent minus nine in sign magnitude, always remember that the leftmost bit in sign magnitude is only reserved to represent sign. Okay, it does not represent weight. So one at the leftmost bit indicates that this number is negative. Now what is the value of this negative number? This is this represents its neg magnitude. So one zero zero one represents nine, and because of this one leftmost bit represents it's a negative number, negative nine in sign magnitude. Sign one's complement, again we have just discussed this, how to calculate a uh, complement, one's complement. So to calculate a one's complement of plus nine, you just flip all the bits, okay? Or subtract all the digits, all the bits from one. In sign two's complement, we keep the first least significant one unchanged and flip all other bits. So this is the representation of minus nine in two's complement. And the reason why it is being highlighted is because the two's complement is the method that is used in computers. Okay, and why one's complement and sign magnitudes are not used will be discussed in in the next couple of slides. Okay, so for from plus two to minus two, what you do is just flip all the bits, add one. Again, we are taking two's complement. From minus two to plus two again, flip all the bits, and add one, it will give you its corresponding two value. So this represents minus two, and this represents plus two. Okay? So if you are asked to convert or find a decimal equivalent of a negative number, for example, minus 33. So if I ask you to convert minus, uh, or find the uh, binary equivalent of this number, minus 33, you might have already practiced it in, in the practice sheet or in the last activity. So the easiest way is to first assume that the number is positive. For the time being, assume that this number, minus 33, is positive. Now represent 33 in binary. It will make your job easier. And this 33 is represented like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, sorry, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So 32 plus 1 is 33. Now to represent minus 33 in binary, take its two's complement, okay? When you take its two's complement, this will represent minus 33. And why minus? The leftmost digit signifies the sign. Yeah. Is there a reason you chose uh, As I said, two's complement is the method that is used in computer. But if it is not specified what system you should be using to represent minus 33, by default, you would use my, uh, two's complement. If I specify like represented in one's complement, then you have to take its one's complement instead of two's. Okay. Any other question? Yep. Sign magnitude. Does it only go up to seven digits? No, it's just a representation in eight bits. So we are talking about here. This example talks about representing a number in eight bits. If it is like plus nine has to be represented in, let's say, 16 bits, then 16 bit for minus nine would be set to one, and everything else would be set to nine. So what I mean is, it's like the, the maximum value of the max up to 64. Yeah, this is what uh, I'm going to talk about in, in, a, in a slide later. Okay. Any other? Okay, so let's do a quick recap and a warm-up activity. Again, this is called the least significant bit, the rightmost bit. 
the leftmost bit is called the most significant bit. So numbers are usually signed unless it is a specified unsigned. So it not only indicates a sign, but also indicates its weight. So here, starting from this bit, so this 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, and this is 1024. And it also represents a sign. It is set to 1, and it represents minus 1024. OK? So for 4 bit, if a number is represented in 4 bit, magnitude pattern would become 1, 2, 4, and minus 8. OK, when you're representing a number in 4 bits, the leftmost bit not only specifies the magnitude, but also the sign, which is minus. If I ask you to represent a number in 8 bits, then the leftmost bit, which is the 8 bit, would represent the sign, minus 128. OK? Now, keeping this information in mind, let's try to do this, uh, doing this warm-up activity. I'm giving it a pause for like five minutes. Try to come up with the answer for all of these. So let's talk about the first one. So what is the decimal representation? So how many of you agree with 49? 50. <laughs> and what about octal? And hexadecimal? 32. 32. So it's uh, equivalent to 50 decimal. Octal is 0, 062. And hexadecimal is 32. OK? And what about B? Yep. 14. Why? So there is something mentioned up here, it's right in front of you. So number is signed. The one corresponds to the leftmost bit, corresponds to the number sign. Okay, so it's not only sign, but it's also its weight. So this is minus eight, this is four, and this is two. So minus eight plus six is minus two. So the answer for this one is minus two. Okay. What about C? So again, the easier, what would be your approach of calculating minus 41? Converting it into 8-bit binary. Assume it is positive and represent its binary equivalent. So the positive equivalent of 41 is this. OK. Then take its two's complement in 8 bits. and in 10 bits, you just pad the sign bit, OK? You just added the sign bit. We will be discussing this shortly as well, OK? If a number is positive, so you add the positive sign. The replicate, for example, if this number would, if I ask you to represent this in 10 bits, so you will just add two more zeros on the left. If I ask you to represent this one in 10 bits, so you replicate the sign, actually. So you're replicating sign here and sign here as well. OK? Yep. So in 10 bits, you just add two zeros in support of the first line up there, which is 41, right? That's in 2 bit? 2 bit? 8 bits. Oh, yeah, 8 bits. Yes. OK. Any question here? What about the D, part D, minus 8, 10 in 4 bits binary? What would be its binary equivalent? One, zero, zero, zero. It, yeah, it is 1, zero, 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 because this one not only represents the sign, but also the magnitude. What about the last one? One, zero, zero, one. Hmm? One, zero, zero, one. one, zero, zero, one. So if we do it like this, um, So if we write 1001, zero, zero, one, are you saying that it's your Okay, how do I do this? Yeah. So if you write 1001, zero, zero, one, do you think it's negative 9? 
if it is negative 9, then P said if we take its 2's complement, it would become positive 9, right? And if you take 2's complement, what would it be? 1, 1, 1, 0. It's actually 7. Okay? So here comes a discussion that how what value we can represent in certain number of bits. So minus 9 is the value which we cannot represent in 4 bits. Okay? Let's pull this back. Cannot be expressed in 4 bits. 